Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. So we kind of got a little derailed on uh, videos when the 5,000 subscriber mark hit. That's an awesome reason to get derailed. Um, and before that, I talked about how every other video is going to be dedicated to something ubiquity, and then I'm going to start other series along with that. So we started our PF Sense videos. We're going to go ahead and get a, a fresh start here uh, because in the meantime, uh, Unify 5.3.11 was released, so I want to cover that real quick, and I want to cover how to upgrade on our cloud key, which is where our current controller is for the lab. So this video will be Unify, next video will be PF Sense, and then another Ubiquity video, then PF Sense, and then we're going to start, uh, you know, once we get to... Um, you know, a good place with PF Sense. We're going to start putting other things in security, other Linux distros that that act as uh, UTM devices, things like that. So a lot of really good, interesting content coming this year. So please subscribe uh, if you want to watch more of those videos and be notified when I release those. Let's, uh, in the meantime, let's get back over and take a look at what's going on with Unify. So we've got our cloud key that we've been working with. And we're going to log into the Cloud Key Management. Now, if you're not signed up for the Unify Updates blog, you should cruise on over to the community at community.ubnt.com uh, and sign up for the blog. And you can see that this was released last week. So this is uh, 5.3.11. And always make sure you have a backup. So we're going to do that real quick. Um, there's some release notes, talks about uh, migrating from version 3, talks about Windows users with Java, um, hotspot management console, make sure you have a book, you bookmark the uh, URL with the site ID, uh, Debian Ubuntu users who are using the apt-get update upgrade method, you will want to read this information. Uh, you can now use Oracle Java instead of OpenJDK. Uh, you can no longer manage Unify Voice over IP. You know, so go go over, take a look at the notes. Let's see if there's anything. So, what did they fix from 5.3.8? Uh, fix getting most active UAP and stats. They removed an unsupported PoE mode, 24 volt, from that new US 8-60 watt switch. They updated translations, show controller settings to super admins only, improve WebSocket connection while using WebRTC, fix radius VLAN modes, fix for saving controller settings, fix error connection, catch context and debug. Looks like there's some firmware changes. Uh, it says uh, UAP USW firmware 3.7.5 has been pushed to this release as well. Here's the bundled firmware, and then if you look at my old videos where I go in and I download the update, here's where you can download load that Debian Ubuntu uh, deb file, and you can manually do that. Well, let's hop back over to the cloud key, and we logged in. We are going to go to maintenance, and here under Unify, we are going to click check for updates. And after it does that, you can see a new version of Unify package is available. Um, so we can click Update Now. And it's going to say, do you want to update Unify package now? It's recommended that you create a backup. So we're going to cancel this real quick. Uh, we're going to log out. Go back over to our main interface. And you can see that we're still on the version 5.3.8. So we'll go to Manage. And we will log into this. Let it come up. Uh, we'll go down to settings, maintenance, and we'll just do a quick backup real quick. Seven day retention. If we go to auto backup, you can see where we have auto backup and these are all stored on the storage of the cloud key. But we'll just grab that manual backup real quick, just in case. And we'll log out. We will go back to our cloud key. And another thing we're going to check, I didn't notice, uh, but we'll see if a new version of the actual cloud key firmware is a available real quick. 
So it's on version uh, 0.5.9. We'll check for updates. And the Cloud Key operating system itself is up to date. So we'll click that check for updates under Unify. We're going to go ahead and update now. Confirm that we have a backup. So it's going to update the Unify package. So it takes a little bit of time to do this, uh, probably dependent on several things, your internet connection being one of those. Okay, so the little update screen disappeared, and now you can see we are on Unify version 5.3.11-8935. Unify is up to date. We'll click check for updates just for giggles. Unify is up to date. So we'll go ahead and log out of our cloud key. And now we can see the controllers on 5.3.11, so we'll log into this guy. So if we take a look at devices, that was weird. Hmm, and everything just must have been been syncing there. Um, you can see right now I don't have any uh, APs. A funny thing happened. I had a power outage. Um, it was totally out of my control, but I don't have this particular system plugged into a UPS yet, and it completely trashed the cloud key. So I had to restore from the backup that we took when we were building this uh, in the original videos that didn't have the APs in it. So uh, before we come back to this, Again, I will add those APs back in, um, but for now you can see that we have the Lab US 8 switch, so we can upgrade this. It'll ask us, do we want to confirm? We'll go over here and we'll check it out and make sure that our uh, topology view, yep, topology view is still uh, hanging in there for us. So we'll be... Uh, um, upgrading for just a few minutes. So that's it. That's really how easy it is with the cloud key to stay up to date. Um, and we're on 5.3.11. I'm not sure what the release time is for the next version. Um, there are some other testing versions that are available. But uh, this gets us up to date to 5.3.11. I've got some production sites that I'll be working on. If you've got any questions, please post them down in the comments you can always email me come back for the uh, next video which will be pf sense if you like this video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please comment and share and we'll see you in the next video